I have a long history of being passionate about the environment, uh, about trying to preserve what we've got. And it's a wonderful area now to just come and people come and meditate, you know, and do their Tai Chi. And, and we have community functions here now, and that's why I've become involved. Hi, I'm Pete Gibson. I'm Secretary Treasurer of the Nanila Timbering Action Group and on the Committee of Management for the Nanila Bushland Reserve. I'm a local farmer, third generation farmer, just from uh, across the road. I've had a great interest in this uh, uh, beautiful bushland reserve for many years now. Doug. I'm Doug Small. Uh, I'm Chairman of the Bushland Committee of Management, which is a, uh, this is a locally managed reserve, though, even though it is Crown land. Uh, I was appointed by the Nanila and Timbering Action Group to do this and I've had a part-time employment to help carry this out. It's um, uh, a reserve that was established as a water reserve back in the late 1800s. The area of the bush reserve is about 100 acres or 45 hectares of environmental significance. It's surrounded by um, private land, freehold land, uh, that are sort of jutted into the reserve and traditionally it's been um, leased to the nearest landowner for quite a number of years and Parks Victoria in their wisdom back in the early 2002, 2003 decided that they'd love, like a committee of management to manage the reserve. A lot of people used to dump their rubbish surprisingly enough and, uh, and we got some funding to do a clean up of the reserve. We've been able to uh, fence the reserve, clean the rubbish up on it, increase the biodiversity basically of the reserve. There are probably over in the order of 3,000 plants have been introduced here. We've, we've done direct seeding here. We're waiting, still waiting for it to come up. My ancestors, my great grandfather uh, selected uh, two, three square mile just to the, um, to the east of where we are at the moment. In uh, 1869, they came up from Gisborne. They were Scottish farmers, uh, and they lived in tents just uh, on the on the banks of our creek. The floods wiped them out in 1872, uh, and they went to the highest bit of land. Uh, that's where my mum and dad's house is at the moment. It's fairly rare for this area to, to continually farm land in that um, with, where the same landowners still have it for so long. So living in the community here is is. Um, Fantastic, really. I've been away. I went away for two years in the uh, mid '70s. I so did a Trans Africa trip and climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and and I've travelled a fair bit to South America. And so I understand how other areas are managing their natural resources. And you know, in the uh, Machu Picchu National Park, um, the Kilimanjaro National Park now. But I think the community here is a wonderful community. It's gone through some pretty horrific times just recently with uh, the drought. There's been almost social upheaval, really, with the water trading out. From a community point of view, we've had uh, some amazing nights here um, with bonfires burning the old weeds and, and trees and stuff that needed, like the old peppercorn trees that were basically havens for rabbits. The Drought Employment Program is a, uh, through the uh, Goulburn Broken Land Care Network. Uh, they're basically farmers that uh, were affected by the drought they were a great team of workers and, and they put up some fencing like the one over here. Uh, they removed some old fences that no longer had any use. They uh, picked up a lot of rubbish off their own initiative and carted it out of the reserve. They put the first track walking trail in here, they marked that out. They removed uh, the last remaining pepper tree on the reserve. There was so much positive from that program and there were things that, some of the things that were hard to get volunteers to do. Look, I'm really optimistic uh, about the future of this reserve and, and not just this reserve but other uh, areas of uh, natural bush that we, uh, we still have because it's the enthusiasm I see with kids. You know, the, the, our future is in the hands of our kids and the future of this reserve is in the hands of the kids and I'm confident they'll do a great job. Hi, I'm Maddie Glass and I've lived in Nanila all my life. I'm in Year 9 and I'm attending Rochester Secondary College. I started my um, community service work here at the reserve a couple of months ago. Me and Doug Small, we walked around the reserve and picked out a, um, 12 spots where I would take photos from. And I'm going to put them on a website now and then hopefully in a couple of years some will come back and take photos from those same spots again just to document how like the, the reserve changed and stuff. 
The reserve is a good place for the community here. I remember coming here and having like community bonfires and it's good to catch up with friends and talk to people and I've come here a lot with um, family picnics and stuff. I think my dream for the reserve is to preserve at least what we've got for the future generations. When I've come out here I've occasionally found, and, and I hope it's often, that people will be just in, in, in the reserve having their lunch and um, I, I've engaged in conversation and they just love coming in here because it's nice and peaceful, they're, they're in the bush and people like being in the bush.